fine. Can you hear me? Sure. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, great. We're connected. Um, I got your photos. Yes. We will set. Let me just get some information. <clears throat> and um, then see what we can figure out. Okay. Um, how old are you? I'm 26. Uh, yes, I just have a thyroid, um, hypothyroid, and I take, um, lethal thyroxin. Um, I left the medication in my drawer. I don't know if you, you want me to go get it. Okay. No, I just need to, I'm just asking some information now. As long as you take the pills, it doesn't, it doesn't make you sick. I mean, I think no, I have to take it every day, one a day, um, to make sure that my, my thyroid is working. So I just left the doc her today. She we just did blood work, so we're gonna Fine. Yeah. Okay. Um what bothers you? What would you like to fix? Well, i <laughs> I'm kinda psyching myself out because um I want a BBL, but then I just want a smaller waist. Cause I'm I'm scared with the BBL. I'm scared that um, I was doing research that they if you hit a certain thing, I could die instantly. I've been freaking myself out, you know. So that's why my friends like, why don't you do the consultation and make you feel a little bit comfortable? Cause I've been psyching myself out. <laughs> right. But I do want a nice waist. So, and I'll tell you, I, I don't think you have to be so afraid of it. You do have to be aware of the dangers. and I'm back with a new unexpected video yes um if you're not subscribed to my channel I don't know why okay I told y'all I'm gonna be dropping the tea all year long and so forth okay videos are posted every week new content okay click that subscribe button and that bell notification so you can stay on top and all my people who are new welcome and for all those who are returning i love you guys thank you so much for coming back to my channel okay i know you guys see by the title okay if you're against plastic surgery and if you're against you know fixing your body and you know people wanting to live their best life let's keep it real go somewhere else okay i was one of those people okay and you know what you just grow and you learn to you know let people live their life the way that they want to because honestly it's their body okay they can do whatever they want that's their life okay you got to worry about yourself and when you grow up to understand that like i had to you will understand that you will be at peace within yourself because you ain't worried about nobody else. All right? Now, let's get into this video. Your girl is getting plastic surgery, okay? And as you guys have saw from my beginning, okay, I had a virtual consultation for a BBL with Dr. Green. He is located in Cleveland, Ohio, if I'm not mistaken. And I'll be going to him for a BBL, okay? Your girl is scared out her damn mind. She is scared of her mind, all right? But you know what? It's something that I've been very insecure about. Um, you know, it stops me from taking pictures, you know, from my backside. And, you know, it's just something that is going to help me work on my confidence. You know, I do have a very curvy body, and that's not an issue, okay? It's just my backside, okay? And I want it to be a little bit of a natural look nothing too outrageous and we have discussed that me and dr green so with that being said i just want to go over some of the things that i talked about you know my first question was as y'all can see am i gonna die <laughs> and has anyone died on your table and so far he is board certified i did my research and you know he said he he has never had a death so that kind of brought me to ease. I'm feeling a little bit better. You know, even my father, you know, he's feeling better about it. You know, because my mother's not here. She passed away a couple of years ago. And, you know, all I have is my father. So he's feeling a little bit better about it. Um, you know, my son, he's little. He don't know nothing about it. 
um, and my friends, they're feeling more comfortable. My friend went to Dr. Green and, you know, I'm going to post up her story down below. If she left me, I'm going to ask her after this video. So you guys can get some insight on what she got done because it's kind of the same. It's just mine's going to be in my butt. So you guys can just click on her link and, you know, just watch her videos, okay? Because she's the one who actually made me feel more comfortable to want to get it done. And as we all know, this is Passion Jones' doctor who did all of her plastic surgery procedures. So she's the reason why my friend went to her, went to him. And my friend is the reason why I'm going to him, okay? Because I feel like I can trust him. Okay, and he is so sweet, you guys. He is so nice, so knowledgeable, okay? Because even though I did my research, he even told me that, uh, you're wrong. This is how it's done. So, with that being said, let's get into some of the stuff that I talked about. So, my number one thing was, I did talk to him about, it. has anyone died on his table? Okay, he has told me no one has died on his table. And he performs about two to three bbls a week it depends on what he's scheduled for which made me a little bit comfortable okay it's like okay and he told me he's been doing this for 12 to 13 years i'm like okay okay we're we, we getting somewhere and as we know bbls are the most dangerous you know past surgery procedure that is out there basically fat grafting is the most dangerous okay when it's going into some type of fat embryo something like that okay all i know is just put it in my fat and don't go no deeper than my muscle okay because then i'm i don't own that all right but that's another topic you know let's let the doctor be the doctor because we don't know what we're talking about we just know from what we hear on um youtube and that's another reason why i asked him that because i've been psyching myself out okay i've been watching people die with bbls i'm watching um people who had got bbls done in this terrible looking i have got people who have been rushing the emergency room because of bbls i have saw people that have had success stories and i've been psyching myself out so he was he was very gentle in giving me the knowledge that i needed to understand and make me feel comfortable to say okay 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 I'm, I'm gonna get through this i'm gonna get through this he actually told me about the medical um emergency stuff that they do that they have which made me a little bit comfortable you know with the transportation to the emergency hospital and also that they have a emergency facility behind them um which actually was like thank you jesus okay and you know my friends are like you ain't gonna need it anyway you good so that's just we know thank you for asking that question but you good bro you good so you know that brought me a little bit of comfort um he did tell me that i did need to lose some weight so you guys are going to be seeing me document my uh weight loss journey okay i have to lose about 50 to 60 pounds before i go because i am overweight i told you guys i gained weight so my goal because i'm the one who told him I'm going to lose 50 pounds before the surgery, okay? It's best for me to do that because I will get the best results. And I'm so happy that he said that to me. Because I don't know from anybody else's experience, but what I've read, I've seen people who had a high BMI get their surgery done. And, you know, that's their choice. But I know for me, I want to lose weight. And I want to feel good once it's done. I don't want to get the surgery and then I need to fix it, fix that. I don't want to still lose more weight. I want to... Get comfortable enough before my surgery day to say, okay, once I get this 360 lipo and I get this BBL, I want to be comfortable within myself to say, all right, I don't need a tummy tuck. We did discuss a tummy tuck as well, but I'm, I'm going to save that for later. But, you know, he did say I didn't need to lose a significant amount of weight. So, I mean, I could lose about um, 50 to 60 pounds. I'm shooting for about May 2021 to get the surgery done. So, you know me. <laughs> Mom going to do what she got to do to get this weight off, all right? You will definitely see this documented. So, I'm happy that he told me I need to lose weight. He actually pointed out, you know, which which made me happy when I showed, when we were doing a virtual. He shared the screen and he showed me my pictures. And he told me, um, you know, this fat we can't use because it's in your stomach. It was something like he said it was in my stomach. So, we can't use this fat. And, um... We have to use the fat that's on the surface. Something he said. 
So that's one of the reasons why I have to lose weight because my stomach is round right now. Because when I gain weight, I tend to have a round stomach. So um, he said that um, I have to lose some weight. And he also said that he's going to take fat from my inner part of my thighs, which I don't mind. Just, just don't touch my thighs, all right? I want my thighs, okay? And, then, and he said that that's the good fat. So he claimed that it's a good fat. So I'm like, you know what? Just take the fat from there. He um showed me my backside, <laughs> which was so funny. He said, um, <laughs> my butt looks like a shelf. It's so funny. So, you know, I'm not even embarrassed. I don't even care. But yeah, your girl needs a booty. Okay. A booty. And um he said that um if I do lose weight, that I won't need so much fat injected into my butt. So that's a good thing, you know. That's that's a great thing that he said that, you know, because it made me feel more comfortable. I don't need so many CCs at my butt, so you know. And it, and since I'm very curvy, and I already have the curvy shape, it's gonna look perfect because everything is gonna go together. You know, I just need a booty. That's it. Just a booty. <laughs> so everything's gonna go together. And um, what else did he say? Um. We talked about how much time, much time I'm going to be down. He said that he doesn't work fast, which I appreciate. Um, he's a very slow person. He he said um, he takes his time, which is, you know, I believe is so perfect. Because I did bring up that, you know, I will, when I do watch the YouTubes and they move so fast, they make a mistake, which causes death. So he told me that he takes his time, and I appreciate that. Take your time with me. All right, I got mad time. Just make sure I wake up. All right, take your time with me. Okay, and I respect that he takes his time. He said the procedure is going to take about four hours. So that's that's pretty good to me. Um, about the time. Um, he sent me my quote already, so I'm not going to get into that and in that in this video. Um, I'm going to wait until you know. I go visit him because I do want to visit him in person and have another consultation. I mean, it's my money, so I'm just going to pay him. I want him to see me in person. Once I lose, I want to lose, I would say about 30 to 35 pounds, and then I want to book and see him one weekend. So I'm going to do that. So I figure around like January, I'm going to go and I'm going to save up my money. And, and then I'm going to, when I go see him for my physical consultation, that I'm going to vlog that too. Then I'm gonna book my surgery, so I'm gonna see if I get it for May, okay? Because that's that's when I'm really trying to push for it. So he asked me, Do I smoke? Do I drink? I don't smoke, I only drink on occasions. I mean, I smoke hookah, but I mean, that's only when I'm going out to the club, but that ain't nothing serious. Um, we talked about my thyroid problem. Um, so far, I'm working on getting that under control, so that's gonna be under control. I have a personal doctor for that he asked me that i get a physical done with blood work he said if i didn't get a physical done um you know he's gonna do his own blood work so um if if this blood work that i got done from my physical doctor is is not good you know not getting everything that he needs to get done um i'm gonna then when i go down to him i'm just gonna get blood work from him and i'm gonna just go get it done and then i'll be shipped to him so that's another topic for another day um well, definitely, we went over all my pictures. We didn't go over pricing on virtual. He sent me the quote. I talked about that already. He told me how long I need to stay. So, I told him that I'll stay about five days. So, my other friend told me why I need to stay that long. So, I figure I'm going to just do three to four days, you know, to give myself some time. He told me that I had to pay for the massages and the faha. So, I'm going to get all that stuff done, but I'm going to go through my friend for all that stuff, you know, because she went through the process already. So, I'm going to just get all that information from her, and then I'm going to just do my video, okay? So, um, she already sent me the list of all the vitamins that I need to start taking, and I'm going to get into a video about that, especially when I start on this weight loss challenge stuff. I'm going to get into a whole video about that, because we're going to be on this journey to saving and losing his weight for the bbl and i'm going to talk about all that stuff i'm going to talk about how much my dosage is for my thyroid and that medicine i'm taking 
Um, I am going to do my own personal sleep apnea. I do want to do that because I did have that scheduled with my thyroid doctor. So I am going to get that scheduled up and running and go get a referral for that. So that's going to be done. I'm trying to shoot for at least December getting that test done. So, you know, make sure that when I do go visit him in June is I do need to, you know, any further things any further stuff that I may need to, um, with my breathing while I'm sleeping, you know, we can set that up and make sure that I'm good. Um, he did say because I'm young, I should be fine, but you know what all doctors say that? I need to just make sure that I'm good. Okay, all doctors say when you're young, you're fine. No, I need to make sure that all my T's is crossed and all my I's are dotted and we good, okay? Because I got a son to wake up for, you know. I am going to say I am nervous about this and you know what? It's something that I want and I'm tired of talking about it and it just needs to get done. So I can be happy and live my best life, okay? Because we only get one life. And so far this year, you know what? I'm going to just go for it, okay? So that concludes my BBL journey. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for more videos, okay? Because this is a road to a BBL. All right, and the Lipo 360, okay? So, definitely stay tuned for more videos. Love you guys. Bye.